the time I was nearly skewered by the world's fastest fish versus the split-second strike of a venomous viper. Which of these two scenes do you think will win our deadly showdown? My name's Steve Bashaw, and in this series, I'm pitting the wildest, the weirdest, the wonkiest animals on the planet against each other, all going head-to-head -head in our deadly showdowns. And today, it's the Battle of the Speed Demons. So, our first Speed Demon is the Sailfish. There are many contenders for quickest creature underwater, but the sailfish, that's the champion. But finding them is really tricky, particularly to film. We spent several days on big seas, huge waves crashing into the boat, throwing us about all over the place. But eventually, coming towards the end of our second day, I saw off on the horizon, what looked like a swarm of bees right down close to the surface of the water. But they weren't bees, they were birds, big birds. As we got closer in, we could see that they were circling and coming down to the surface of the water and snatching tiny bait fish. So there was gonna be some kind of predator below that was driving these fish up to the surface. We just had our fingers crossed that it was gonna be sailfish. I was hoping to see one sailfish and at a distance. Instead, there's a menacing shoal of dark shapes. A pack of undersea wolves pursuing the sardines with murderous intent. Their hydrodynamic shape makes them look like dark torpedoes and even casually cruising, they disappear into the distance in seconds. It was just utterly spectacular. And as they twisted and turned, you'd see the blue and black and the stripes down their sides. And they erect this sail, which is actually their dorsal fin, as they're moving. And that could be as a way of herding the smaller fish. It could be a way of intimidating or driving away other fish, making themselves appear to be bigger. Seeing them hurtling past me like these remarkable, scything torpedoes, is one of the most impressive things I've ever seen underwater. And you certainly wouldn't want to be one of those little fish. After no more than about 10 minutes, the shoal of fish had disappeared, and all that remained was a shimmering snow of silvery scales just drifting down through the water, the only remnants of what had once been a giant shoal of tiny fish. So that's the fastest creature in the sea. Contender number two surely has to be the fastest creature in the air, the peregrine falcon, 200 miles an hour, fastest creature ever known to have lived, or the fastest mammal on land, the cheetah, 40 miles an hour and three strides, 70 mile an hour at top whack. Surely it has to be one of those. Nah, that'd be too obvious. Instead, I've decided to go for the fastest striking of the snakes. To most people around the world, a snake is just a snake, but trust me, that couldn't be further from the truth. There's around about 2,700 different species, and they come in a massive variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. Even amongst the venomous snakes, there are some very distinct types. But our main contender was the fastest striking snake in Africa, the puff adder. This here is called a Photron camera. It shoots in slow motion, so we're gonna be able to see these snakes at their absolute best, frame by frame. And it's all gonna be recorded here on this laptop. So it uses its strike both for defense and for catching its prey. And it's boom, over and done with before a human eye would be able to capture it. So we slowed the moment right down and gave it a target. This is a puff adder. It's one of the most feared snakes in Africa, but I think they are utterly fascinating. It's the classic viper shape, and it has the classic viper hunting method. And the most interesting thing, perhaps, is that its strike can be over and done with in as much as a fifth of a second. Now, I'm hoping to show you that by getting it to strike at this water balloon. We're using the balloon to simulate a small mammal. Hopefully, it will strike it in the same way. Oh! You can see the tongue 
flickering on the air, it's drawn back into that classic S shape, which gives it the possibility to extend, to strike. It's focused on the balloon. And because this is super, super slow mo, even when the balloon is punctured by its fangs, the water just hangs there in this one silvery orb, perfect for a fleeting moment in time. If you were a small mammal, you just would not stand a chance. It would all be over in the blink of an eye. There is no doubt that the super fast strike of the puff adder is worthy of inclusion on any list of speed demons. So, who's gonna be our winner? Well, I have to say that the experience with Sailfish was one that I had wanted to do for so, so many years. It took a lot of work, a lot of effort, and it's one that I don't think a huge amount of people have had the great privilege of being able to do. So for me, I'm going for Sailfish as my king of the speed demons. So what do you think? Maybe you reckon I'm completely nuts to have not included Cheetah or Peregrine Falcon, the fastest animal ever to have lived. But hey, it's my show. For more Deadly Showdowns, head to BBC Earth Kids. There's also lots more deadly content on there, so make sure to hit subscribe. And all the very best from me, Steely B.